Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about how to train your dog not to run away. Why dogs tend to run away. Boredom or loneliness. If you leave your dog at home for days and days, he'll just feel bored and lonely. In fact, he can suffer from separation anxiety which is way worse than boredom. The house is no longer a home anymore but turn into a locker. He's bored of familiar things and wants to discover more and more interesting stuffs around. But he has no chance to do that when being locked up. So don't be surprised if he suddenly comes from no excitement. You may have experienced this when your dog impulsively pull the leash so harsh that it may rip your arm off to get to a squirrel at the park. Dogs are prey-driven animals. Especially with high-energy canines, their eyes will spark the moment they see interesting things in their sight. Without your guard, your four-legged friend can definitely run at the speed fear. They may be scared of fireworks or loud noises coming in a sudden. Sometimes, your dog may startle at a bark from an aggressive dog or witnessing something horrible. It's absolutely his natural instinct to escape from potential danger and stay on alert. Mating. Just like human, dogs, typically male ones that haven't been neutered yet, are also in need of a mate. With the urge to satisfy their needs, they may risk escaping to look for a mate. Coming back home. If you've just moved to a new house and sometimes you find him disappear for a while and end up in your old one, one thing for certain, he missed home. He's emotionally attached to the scent and space there. How to train your dog not to run away. There are a diversity of ways to teach dog not to run away, but the following five are the most recommended and effective for most dogs. 1. Reward-based training. Reward here are mainly food treats or toys. Don't underestimate the power of fragrant and delicious food. Dogs have a great sensitivity of scents, so once they get a flow of smell coming from elsewhere, they can run directly to the place. You need to let him know that staying deserves rewards. When he understands, he will not go anywhere without your permission. 2. Exercises. By exercising, your dog will be in a more flexible and relaxed state before getting to training. Dogs that regularly do exercises tend to be more comfortable and compliant. As they have a sustainable health, they don't mind doing tricks or training. Moreover, you can gradually upgrade exercising to a bit of training. Do it with some basic commands to slowly get your dog into routine. 3. Commands. By establishing commands, you're directing him to switch off his unwanted behaviors and move step by step further toward obedience. To train dog not to run away, what considered to be the best and the most effective command of all is, come, or you can say a, recall. Start by conditioning his name and, come. Then, don't forget to reward him when he does. Repeat the command with a handful of treats whenever he comes. Occasionally, you can change the treats into playtime. After calling, play with him, ball fetching, for example. If he finds enough fun being around you, he may think there's no need to go outside to enjoy different things. By creating a variety of interesting activities for him to do, he won't run away in search of anything else. Because being with you already brings him a full sense of comfort and contentment. 4. Socialization. You may wonder why socialization has anything to do with how to train your dog not to run away. It actually does a lot of help, especially in the case of mating. Dogs are pack animals. They may be happy being in a human pack, but having their canines friends around are also enjoyable. As they share the same language, it's easier to communicate, taking your dog to a park where a lot of other canines gather and play is an ideal choice. Such socializing activities benefit both their communication skills and health physically and mentally. Spending time and love. I know a lot of you have a busy schedule and your dog cannot be the priority when coming back home from work. However, even just a bit of time spending with him, he'll appreciate it for sure. Maybe a short walk or a 10-minute playtime with you already means something. Make sure to give him affection as well. He cannot always bear your tiring face when you open the front door every evenings. Your energy is essential to boost up his mood, you know. Love and care is what you should have committed the moment you decided to bring him home. What not to do when training dog not to run away. No chasing. 
No harsh punishing, no scolding, non-stop practicing. With your dedication to training and affection, I believe you can succeed not only in how to train your dog not to run away but also in every other lessons. That's everything I want to share in today's blog. If you find this interesting and useful, don't hesitate subscribe to follow us. Thanks and see you soon.